Okay guys, so I've got the Fusion Light. We've activated the ground scan in automatic mode. You can see we've got the test area here. And in this test area, we have a pipe buried and you're gonna see the pipe at the end. So what we're gonna do now is I'm going to do the scan analysis in automatic mode. And then we're going to see what that looks like on the phone. We're going to transfer it from the phone to the laptop. You're going to see what it looks like on the laptop in the Visualizer 3D. And then at the end, you're going to see what the target, the pipe that's in here, actually looks like. So we're going to cover the complete process from the field analysis through to the final visualization seeing the target. So here we go. So here we're going to run the 3D ground scan. You can see that right here. And we're going to run it in automatic mode and we are ready to start. Okay, we just ran the scan. I'm going to finish the scan. And it says, would you like to save the scan? I think we want to save the scan. I've just, I'll keep the default name for it. And here we go. You can see the scan here. It's a little bit difficult, I know, with the glare, but we'll give you a better picture of what that looks like um, um, on the next screen. Okay guys, we just made the scan. We've got a great image of it here on the phone. What you're gonna see is that pipe is right here. So we're going to go in and do the Visualizer 3D. We're gonna transfer this over to the laptop and show you what it looks like on the Visualizer 3D. We've finished the file. We've brought the phone in. We've transferred it over to Visualizer 3D and here's what we've got. You can see this is the scan that we did in the field, in the sandbox. Um, and you can see here that we've got a very strong red signal here, a nice strong blue signal here. And that tells us that we have a ferromagnetic object potentially in the area. We know in this case that we do. We're gonna show you what that looks like. The most important thing here is that you see what it looks like on Visualizer 3D. And um, this is our scan width. We've got five meters long by four meters wide. We can use our crosshairs to move the, uh, to do the analysis in the field. I um, use the left arrow to move the scan, um, the crosshairs up. You use the up arrow to move the crosshairs up. And what we're doing here is this will tell us what the approximate depth at this location is. And we go into the scan information and we see based on the soil type that we've chosen that it's telling us it's around 1.63 meters. So what we need to do now is to go in and double check the soil type. And we're looking at sand wet, which is a fairly good representation of what we actually have out there. So what's important here <clears throat> is to understand that the depth that's reported in Visualizer 3D is an approximation. And it's always a good place to start, but it can't um, always be taken as the gospel. If we were to dig down 1.63 meters in this case and we didn't find it, you don't stop there. You keep going. So always remember that the depth reading that you have in Visualizer 3D as an estimation and keep going if you don't find it. In some cases, you may find the target a little bit sooner. So what we've really accomplished here though is we went out with the fusion light, we went into the field, <clears throat> we did the scan, we saw the, the results on the phone, the results that we're seeing in Visualizer 3D match what we saw on the phone and now we're going to go out into the sandbox and dig that target up and see what we've got.